Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Devesh Vijay Bhubre. I am from Kalinga Institute of Medical Sciences, Bhubaneswar. My topic is Diagnostic Performance of Contrast Enhanced Computed Tomography in Intestinal Obstruction with Surgical Correlation. So, the bowel obstruction is one of the most common non traumatic abdominal emergency encountered, accounting for approximately 20% of acute abdominal conditions, with small bowel being involved in 60 to 80% of cases. Plain radiograph is the first step for making the diagnosis, but currently CT has a greater sensitivity, sensitivity of 94 to 100% and an accuracy of 90 to 95%. The site and cause of obstruction is valuable information for surgeons making the decisions to operate. CT helps in operational planning, which has led to its inclusion in the guidelines for the management of small bowel obstruction. Intravenous contrast helps in diagnosing strangulation, in identifying the specific cause of small bowel obstruction, and in characterizing other pathology, such as superior mesenteric artery or superior mesenteric vein thrombosis, which can produce an ileus that mimics mechanical obstruction. Our aim and objectives of the study is to evaluate the diagnostic performance of CECT in intestinal obstruction, the role of CECT in detecting presence of complications, and to correlate CECT findings with intraoperative findings. Materials and methods that we have used as CT was performed using G Optima 64 slice CT scanner. First, a plain CT scan of the abdomen was done, followed by contrast and CT scan of the abdomen by intravenous administration of non ionic adenated contrast. Ipromide was given at a rate of 1.5 ml per kg body weight at 1 to 1.5 cc per second. Next, series of images were taken in venous phase with scan delay of 60 to 70 seconds. In cases of suspected mesenteric arterial occlusion, an early arterial phase 20 to 25 seconds with scan delay, followed by venous phase 60 to 70 seconds scan delay was performed using IV contrast at the rate of 3 to 4 cc per second. The patient was followed up for intraoperative correlation. The study was conducted in the Department of Radio Diagnosis, Kims, Patia, Bhubaneswar. 50 cases of intestinal obstruction chosen by simple random technique were studied in the department of our college. The inclusion criteria, we included patients with suspected intestinal obstruction who will undergo CCD abdomen followed by surgery. Exclusion criteria, patient in whom CCD abdomen cannot be performed, pregnancy, renal failure, sensitive to the contrast medium were the criteria. Patients with adynamic obstruction and patients in whom surgical findings are not available were not included. Statistical analysis was done using collect data using SPSS 22.0 software in terms of mean and standard deviation for continuous variables and percentage for categorical variables. Cross tabulation was performed for all the variables of interest. McNamara's chi square test was performed to test the significance of proportions of CT with surgical findings. The sensitivity, specificity, positive, and negative predictive values were computed. P value less than 0.05 was considered to be statistically significant. The study was carried out in an age group ranging from 10 to 19 years. Observation and re result. In our study, we observed that in the age group of 10 to 20, seven uh, people had obstruction. In the age group between 21 to 30, three were diagnosed with obstruction. 31 to 40, four, uh, number, four number of patients were diagnosed. 41 to 40 had eight numbers. 51 to 60 had 10. And 61 to 70 had 13. And 71 to 85, respectively. All of the patients came with a common symptom of pain abdomen. 37% had a symptom of vomiting. 27 had a symptom of abdominal distension and 30 had symptoms of constipation, while eight people had symptoms other than the ones listed. In, the, in case of etiology, stricture was seen in nine, uh, nine, patient, nine patients, adhesion bands were seen in 16, volvulus in three, abdominal tuberculosis in four, inflammatory seven, hernia five, and carcinoma colon 5 and induced exception 1, respectively, as the etiology of obstruction. <sighs> Males had more of, uh, cases of obstruction than females. On CT, free fluid was seen in 23 number of patients, transition point in 37, vascular compromise was seen in 4, perforation was seen in 3, free air was seen in 1, and lymph nodes were seen in 12, respectively. Coming to the level of obstruction, small bowel obstruction was seen in 37 number of patients, while as large bowel was seen in 13 number of patients. Site of obstruction, uh, none of the patients had uh, duodenum as the site of obstruction. 11 patients had jejunum as the site of obstruction. EDM and ileocelical junction was seen as site of obstruction in 32 number of patients. Cecum and ascending colon in 3. 
transverse colon in four, ascending descending colon in one, sigmoid colon in one, six, and recto sigmoid junction and rectum in one respectively. Coming to the discussion, industrial obstruction remains one of the most common global surgical problem. Therefore, industrial obstruction has earned great attention for further research. Etiology of intestinal obstruction is highly variable from one state to another state in the same country. In our study, we found that 32% cases to be having adhesive intestinal obstruction due to adhesions of bands, followed by stricture 18% and inflammatory conditions 14%. It has been seen the incidence of malignancy of colon causing intestinal obstruction in our study is 10%, while obstruction due to hernia is seen in 5 cases. Intestinal obstruction due to abdominal tuberculosis was found in 4% of case, 4 cases which amounts to 8% and three cases of volubilis leading to intestinal obstruction was recorded. One case of intestinal obstruction due to intersusception caused by lipoma was found. In our study, we observed more number of cases of intestinal obstruction with increasing age. The commonest age group belonged to patients of age 61 to 70, followed by 51 to 60 years, which had 10 number of cases and 41 to 50 years. Least number of patients were in the age group of 21 to 30, that is three, which amounted to 6% of the total uh, case. The, the youngest patient in the study group was aged 18, 11 years and the oldest was of 80 years and the mean age was 49.6 years. The commonest clinical presenting complaint in our study was pain in abdomen, which was seen in all the patients followed by abdominal distension in 37 patients, amounting to 74%, vomiting in 27 patients and constipation in 22. And lastly, some of the patients showed weight loss and fever. Majority of the patients presented with multiple complaints, constipation was primary primarily a complaint in the patients with large bowel obstruction and only small percentage of patients with small bowel obstruction had constipation. Demographic features in our study, intestinal obstruction was observed more frequently in males as compared to females. 58% of uh, population in our study was males and 42% was females respectively. In the present study, 50, patient, 50, percent, uh, 50 patients underwent CCT abdomen and after which they had surgery. All 50 patients were diagnosed with intestinal obstruction on CCT abdomen. While on surgery, 47%, uh, 47 patients had intestinal obstruction. CT overestimated three patients with bowel obstruction, which on surgery uh, proved otherwise. The overall sensitive specificity, positive predictive value, negative predictive value, and accuracy of CT was 100%, 94%, 94%. 100% and 96% respectively. The commonest finding observed on CT in our study were a, tra a transition point in 70, 37 patients, followed by free fluid in 23 patients, lymph nodes in 12 patients, vascular compromise in 4 patients, and perforation in 3 patients. Free air was observed in 1 patient. In our study, we observed a total of 50, 50 patients of bowel obstruction on CT, of which 37% patients had small bowel obstruction, which amounted to 74%, and 13 had large bowel obstruction, which made 26% of the population in our study. Among small bowel obstruction only, the commonest level of obstruction was ileum and ilocecal junction, with jejunal obstruction seen in 11 patients. Among large bowel obstruction, the commonest site of obstruction was sigmoid colon in 12% of patients, followed by cecum and ascending colon in 8% of patients, rectosigmoid junction and rectum in 1% of patients respectively, and descending colon in 1% patients. Our study has certain limitations. Our patient population was limited and a more extensive patient population could have shown other factors causing bowel obstruction. This could theoretically affect the overall accuracy of CT nivelation of bowel obstruction. It is possible that majority of patients who have who presented with suspected industrial obstructions have high-grade obstruction and our data may have inadvertently been biased towards high-grade obstruction and not general population. Coming to the confusion, CT abdomen is a valuable imaging modality in the diagnosis of intestinal obstruction. Early recognition and aggressive treatment may help in preventing irreversible ischemia and transmural necrosis along with decreasing the morbidity and mortality. Currently, CCT abdomen is considered as the most appropriate, important, appropriate radiological investigation in evaluation of small and large bowel obstruction. CT is also able to demonstrate the level of obstruction, diagnose common causes of bowel obstruction, and to differentiate between high and low grade obstruction. Furthermore, CECT also helps to assess complication of obstruction, such as strangulation. Thank you.